What's up everybody? Today I'm gonna to show you how to uninstall WordPress multi-site. If you remember back about two months ago, I created a video on how to install this advanced version of WordPress, which is WordPress multi-site. It's a great way to manage a whole entire network of websites under one WordPress installation. It makes your management responsibility is a lot easier because you can update the WordPress core, your themes and your plugins a lot easier with just one installation. But if you installed WordPress multi-site and decided that, you know, it's not quite for you, then this video, I'll show you how to uninstall WordPress multi-site the proper way. All right, so the first thing I recommend that you do is go take a full backup of your website, your database, and your files. You could use your favorite backup plugin, or you could use phpMyAdmin to export your database and FileZilla to download your folders and files. Once you do that, I just recommend going to your various sites and making sure that you disable or deactivate any plugins. All right, so one thing I want you to notice, you have the My Sites tab over here, and you also have in the settings area, network setup in your main dashboard for your network. And you also have the network admin as well. All right, so now the next steps are, you're gonna go to your control panel, so log into your web host, then navigate to your control panel, or you could use FileZilla and your favorite text editor to work with your wpconfig.php file and your htaccess file. I'm gonna show you the cPanel approach. You're gonna to go to your file manager. You're gonna to navigate to the root directory of your WordPress installation. You're gonna look for the wpconfig.php file, and then you're gonna click on the code editor link there. Navigate downwards. I'm gonna make some space over here between this code block. And then these six lines of code, we're gonna delete them. Take a good look at them and make sure you're only deleting these lines of code. Once you've done that, this line over here, you're gonna change the Boolean value from true to false. Make sure you have that done correctly. Once you've done that, you can save your changes. And then the next step, we're gonna go back to our file manager. We're gonna look for the htaccess file. And if you don't see it, make sure you go to your settings tab over here and show hidden files. We're gonna edit this with the code editor. Now, you gotta be very careful with your HT access file. There can be code in here from security plugins or other plugins that are working with this particular file. You don't wanna delete that code. What you can do is just make sure you're deleting the code for the WordPress multi-site setup itself. So take a good look at this code right here and make sure you're only deleting this snippet of code. All right, so we're gonna delete that. I'm gonna give you a code snippet that you're gonna replace it with. All right, so we're gonna replace it with this code right here. Make sure that you take a good look at this and this is what we're replacing it with. Again, be careful with any security plugins you have installed or any other plugins that are working with your HC access file. Once you confirm you're only changing that snippet of code and replacing it with this snippet of code, save your changes. And then we're gonna go back to our main cPanel area. We're gonna look for the phpMyAdmin tab. We're gonna to navigate to our database. And then we're gonna see all the tables that are within our database itself. All right, so this can be different for everyone because it depends on what plugins you have installed. And it also depends on how many subsites you've created. All right, so what I'm going to do here is I'm gonna show you how you can identify what is a subsite. Any table that has a numerical value surrounded by underscores, you see these right here, with the number two and a number three. Those are your subsites. So we're gonna highlight those so make sure you have all those highlighted and only those. Make sure you're not deleting any main tables for your plugins. If it's a plugins table for a subsite, that's fine. But for your main site, you don't want to delete those. And you can tell because they are not identified with a numerical value. All right, so once you have all those highlighted, go down to where it says with selected, and then we're going to drop those. It's going to ask for confirmation. Verify that those are the tables you want to delete and then confirm it. Now we have six more tables we have to delete. It's going to be the blogs table, the blog versions, the registration log, signups, site, and site meta. So it's six tables in total that we're going to be deleting in this step. All right. We'll drop those, confirm. And now you should be left with your original tables and any tables that any plugins you have installed, you know, might have placed inside your database. So this is why it's important that you have a full backup of your database and your files, because if you make any inadvertent changes and delete the wrong table or file, 
that can cause some issues. So at least with a backup, you could always revert from a backup. All right, so now we've done that. Let's go back to our website. We're gonna go to the front page now. All right, so now we no longer see the My Sites. We're gonna go to the dashboard. And in the Tools section, we no longer see the Network Setup. All right, so now that is it. We've just converted our WordPress multi-site setup into a single WordPress installation. We're back to normal. But now if you want to go a step further, what we can do is we can go back. I'm just going to exit out of this one, exit out of there. We can go back to our control panel and we can actually delete this file, the HC access file. So now we no longer have that. I'm going to go back to our website. The website still works. And again, only delete that file if it doesn't have any code in there from any security plugins. We can go to our settings now and we can recreate that file by clicking on any of these uh, permalink settings, saving changes. And now we're gonna go back to our dashboard, to our file manager. We're gonna reload. And now we see we have the HC access file back again. We look at the code editor. And this is the original code that comes with your HC access file when you create your WordPress website and when you create your permalink structure. All right, so that's it. That's how you uninstall WordPress multi-site. You just edit the wp-config.php file, you edit your HC access file, and you delete any tables associated with the WordPress multi-site setup itself. You identify it by, by the number value that's surrounded by underscores. Again, just make sure you take a full backup of your database and your files just in case you do make a mistake. You don't want to run into a situation where you cannot revert from a backup. All right, hopefully you found this episode helpful. I just wanted to show you how to remove the WordPress multi-site setup configurations and how to work with it with your WP config file, your HC access file, and the database. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe because I'll give you more tips and tricks on how to manage your WordPress powered website and how to ensure that your website is doing well online. I'll show you tips on how to secure your website, how to improve the performance of your website and how to make it function well. All right, so again, don't forget to subscribe and thumbs up the video. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Take care.